Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. This episode, if you remember in the last episode, I mentioned that I would show you where all this stuff's coming from. It's not magic. It is a item called the quarry. And hence, ender chests. Big part of that stuff. So, I will show you that. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. I am going to go into bat form. <clears throat> Corys basically dig giant holes in the earth. So, you don't want them where you're going to have to see them all the time. Uh, good thing about bad form when you get that glitch in the world, you can just fly right over it. <clears throat> so we shall keep flying over here. Flying, flying, flying. Frame rate dropping a little bit from loading all this back in. is coming up shortly. You can see it on the map. There it is right here. It's down there pretty good. Let me see what level it's down to. <clears throat> but so we have our quarry set up. Basically, you use the blue markers, the land markers, one lapis over a piece of redstone. Set one down, right click it, it's going to put red lines going all the way out. What you can do then, well for this one you need three total because I put one here, you know, follow the red line down. You know, this isn't the max size. You know, set one here, and then set one over in the other corner. Right clicked it, it turns to blue. Or, hmm, maybe yellow and black. But you set this quarry down right next to that, give it a power source. And eventually, you know, first thing you're going to see like a little outline, not like this. Uh, there'll be a little laser that will clear the land. You don't get any of the stuff while it's flattening everything out. You will see it build this frame. And then it will start to mine. If you do not have an inventory hooked up to this, it is just going to start throwing blocks. All right little block volca volcano so <clears throat> you can use a pipe off of it to go to an inventory I just put the ender chest on top you know, there are items going through it's just with the ender chest right on top it's so quick you don't really see them they're going straight to the base getting pulled out of that ender chest and straight into the system so, uh, let us see how low we are now. Oh, we're down to 37. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's kind of cheaty using a torch, but you can see it down there. It's going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I did do this over water also because when I'm done, you know, you're not going to see it as much. You know, the water did only come up to like right here, but once you know it started breaking, it started filling itself in and everything, so it just makes it a little less noticeable. So that is why I like doing it over here. <coughs> uh, 
this quarry will keep itself chunk loaded. So as long as you have power to it and everything, it will run even when you are not here. Uh, I was running uh, energy cells back and forth. You'll see that this is empty. That is due to the fact that we're just using all the energy we're making. So I just grab two magmatic dynamos, which just need lava. Hooked up an ender tank for the lava. So that keeps this, these fed. They're going to run continuously. And the quarry is going to run continuously until it gets down to bedrock. And then I will have to pick it all up and move it and do it all again. Oh, come on now. All right. So let's fly back real quick. <clears throat> That's a little glitchy. Hate when gen terrain generation does that naturally. So we shall go and see where I'm getting all this lava from. Which is a pretty standard, you know, pretty standard setup. As we get through here, see we got our farms, which I am doing a horrible job at upkeeping. I'm still doing those manually. I really do need to automate those. Uh, Ender pearl lilies are still horrible because they take forever to grow. They grow faster on the end and the end stone blocks, but. Alrighty, <clears throat> let's eat and cross our fingers when we go through here, because last time... Oh wait, that's right. <clears throat> last time when I went through here? Well, a bit ago. Remember we had a little room built and everything with the portal? Well, every mob, creeper, etc., that fell through here was stuck in that room. Lagged out died knocked out the portal on the other side or actually I didn't die but it knocked out the portal so I had to run all the way across until I got to where this link book is in the nether which was not fun so but when I go through now and made a new portal since the other one was knocked out and this one is oh come on now oh no okay we're gonna get into blaze form we got knocked around again and it blew up the portal again Okay, I'm in blaze form, so if I get shot or anything, it's gonna, you know, I won't take damage from fire. Uh, you'll notice that it is very, you know, when you're in blaze form, you're gonna see all the smoke and stuff, so I just turn off the particles. Man, I'm going to have to run all the way back again. You know what? I'm just going to put the portal down. I should just put the link book. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you thought you were funny, huh? Make me run clear across the nether again. But until that point, as you can see, in that form... We are going to fly. And that was the other nice thing, because when you are in blaze form, well, for one, it's really easy to kill. Uh, I 
the little cry babies but you have to be like right under them but they also don't damage you but you got if you're not under them you're gonna end up uh, their stuff's gonna fall into the uh, into the lava and get destroyed <clears throat> so here is our lava pump basically a pump with a ender tank on top four just plain old redstone engines turned down they don't explode or nothing with a chunk loader to make sure it always stays loaded where are you at? I wonder if I can yeah I can still try to knock him back but they're easy to kill because they cannot yeah, yeah no 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 don't go that way Cool, I got the tears. Ah, uh -uh. those guys will jump at you still. And there's a wisp over there. Alright, so. That is that. That's Mark in our chest. Here, let me show you real quick. Look. Swimming in lava. No damage. So, <clears throat> it's good if you're going to try to mine sunstone and such. Now you can see I've taken it down a little bit. It's been taken down like one tick. But, unless you're using it, it won't uh, won't take much out, and there's lots of lakes. So, where? <laughs> uh, bridge start. Bridge start. Stairs up. Bridge start. Home. I think this is where I gotta go. No tunnel opening, blaze spawner. I think this is where I gotta go. I think. So. Eh, we can go through. Much easier with, uh, as a blaze where you don't have to worry about, uh, getting burnt and blown up than, you know, the first time when I was doing bat form and just digging through, because it is still a pain, because you will still hit, you know, basically dead ends in caves. One thing I probably should have done, though, was not floating this high. So that it would have been easier to follow my path from before. Okay. There's a path I made. That was when I actually ran, because I didn't even think of flying. stuff up like a crazy man. Okay, let's see. If I can find... What are you? Yeah, smoldering glass block. Glass block. Okay, you down here? Nope. <coughs> here. Yep. And yeah, basically I was running east-west since keeps tend to spawn in an area north-south. 
So there's that. So we can get out now, but whoa! Hey guys, there are a lot of you. I wonder if I can kill you without your stuff falling down into the lava. Oh no! Don't 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 fall! Don't fall back! Don't fall down, guys! Oh no! A blaze! Whatever will we do? Come on, shoot me, man. See? No damage. Uh, you will uh, maybe take a little damage, but... You will take damage if they run into you, though. I found that out when I... Um, oh, that's why I was taking damage. <clears throat> so let's go to where our... Bonner is where you be. This, yeah, this is the way. But yeah, I found that out the hard way. Cause man, a lot of them spawned in, and I was stuck, and they're bouncing off me, and it was not a good deal. So basically, you just kind of hang out in here. As long as you don't run into them, no damage for the most part. That's why I kind of made it a little farther. I'll try to stay back a little bit. So they don't spawn right on top of you and do a bunch of damage. But Look at that, we're level 31 again. Might have to go and chance something. So yeah, so with the quarry and yeah, see I took a little damage there. He spawned right under me. Yeah, you know, and I just kind of wander around. It almost feels a little wrong. But yeah, that's why uh, you know resistant. Uh, see if you look at the blaze. Apparently breathe on the water, fly, no fire. Uh, not sure what the guy with the sword is. No, same with magma, magma cube. But probably end up just having that annoying uh, slurping sound. Yeah, I wish soul shards were the same as they were before, man. That gravy. Uh, <clears throat> you might want to be careful with blazes. I am not sure I didn't test it out, but you never know. There might be the possibility that you could burn your house down. You guys gotta watch out for fall damage too. So, oh, I also have these on my little hot bar. Wait till I am done. Be interesting to see where they put my next portal when I try going through there. And it brings us back to our old portal room. I never bothered remaking that. <clears throat> so, yep. Yeah, so, no matter what I'm doing, Corey's always working. I might time it, actually, to see... I think the next one I do, I'm going to make it the max. But we are finally down to that area where, you know, we're starting to get the good stuff.
So some of the other stuff I gotta do, I gotta clean up this basement. You know, it is a pretty big mess. And I don't know what I'm gonna start on next. You know, now with the quarry, there are a lot better ways, but you know, if you're just kind of tooling around and stuff, you know, the quarry's pretty decent. Uh, you'll see, I did have to make, I had to convert a lot of my stuff into blocks because <clears throat> I was playing for a while. This completely filled. And it was about a third of the way down my other chest, so. So that's why I did cook up a bunch of this stone. Not sure I'm going to exactly do this yet. Probably have to strip a layer off. Although I was thinking over here. That I may just. You know. We don't really need to see all the stuff. Behind. And this room is relatively large. So. You know, I liked it at first because, you know, it does look a little cool being able to see all your items, you know, shooting around the old sorting system. And it also served the purpose of, you know, being able to see it to make sure that it was working. I think we might be past that point of just needing it to, uh, you know, trying to get it to look pretty. I just get worried when I'm breaking this stuff. Because if there's a pipe behind it, man, it tears it up quick. <laughs> so you gotta be careful on that. So yeah, I think I might end up just kind of pretty in the room up a little bit. You know, clearing all the stuff up, you know, even over here you can tell it you know, looks a lot nicer already. You know, some of the stuff is still going to show through. Obviously, I can always put facades over it or something, too. Go in there. Actually, I might not even be able to in there. Mostly because uh, it might not let me through. But we shall have to see on that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do it that way. Just because I do believe that I'm going to bring the roof down one. Yeah, that almost looks a little nicer already. Well, let's make sure we can get out of here first. <clears throat> so that, my friends, is part of the plan for the next episode. To have that done, and... <clears throat> you know, I got those bees and everything. Maybe I should, uh... You know... Maybe it's time for another expansion of the house to do a little beekeeping. 
but you know there's still you know obviously tons of stuff to do trust me this series will be going on in years I'm wondering if I should do a standalone room or Huh. Eh, I'll have to figure something out. But, that's it, guys. We got the Cory getting the, uh. The easy resources. Yeah, I also gotta watch out when I'm here. It's been blown up before. Why, why you not? Where is my broom at? My broom's gone. Oh, what are you doing in the corner, man? Get your sorry butt out of that corner. There we go, that's better. So, that is it, guys, for now. Oh, there they go, at the second stage. So now that I don't have to go mining much, we will have to figure something out. Hmm. Yeah, I figure out which one, which is the next way I am going to expand this house. Can't really. I might be able to go up top. Oh, here's a setup for all the lasers. Yeah, I didn't cover those yet. Yeah, the big high rise <laughs> just for those limbics of the alchemical furnace and for Thumbcraft. But, I don't know. We shall have to come up with something. To figure out the whole bee thing. But, till next time everybody. Be good, and I will see you later.